Hi folks and welcome to another review with Irish Whiskey Review with me, Marty McCauley. Um, I hope you're safe and well, taking care of each other and we're muddling through these uh, weird and wonderful times that we're living in. Now, you're probably looking and going, where, where, where is this whiskey? Where is it? But, it's here. See? You don't have to buy full bottles of whiskey these days. There's people to cater, cater for stuff. And then this one I have from Drinks by the Dram. I have Tipperary Watershed 47%. Now, when you buy one of these, this is a thing that they do some of the, the online retailers do now and even some off licenses are now starting to do this liquor stores for anyone listening in the states or watching in the states sometimes forgetting um uh or video rather than having to go and buy a full bottle what they'll do is they will sell you a, 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 basically a, a, a half an, a, a measure in a in one of these little containers wax seal it and send it over why you don't, some of these can be quite expensive and what they do is that gives you a chance to try a whiskey without actually buying a full bottle i've never tried this before am i going to like it i don't know possibly probably um I, i've heard good things about it but this is a way that you can buy lots of different bottles or or tasters little bottles miniatures that is much more affordable much more reasonable for people to buy i mean some of these whiskies are not cheap for the ordinary guy and if you go and buy one of these little babies it, it works out much more reasonable obviously <coughs> now you're going to be paying a, a bit of a premium for this if you take the bottle and divide it down but you have to remember folks Adam Smith the more hands that touch something the more expensive it gets um, division of labor and all that kind of stuff you know the more people that have to touch something the more expensive it becomes so they're letting you try uh, maybe a, a 50 60 100 pound bottle and they're letting you try it for a fraction of that price and you get a sample of the, of the whiskey and they do this themselves so there's a few companies do this and good on them uh, I, I, I'm, I'm all about letting people taste and experiment and try different whiskies different flavors different expressions different cask finishes different ABVs all of this but if you're going to try and do that you have to have very deep pockets or get it for free and there's lots of people get it for free as, as samples. I get bottles sent to me. I try and tell everybody if I've had the bottle sent to me. I, I do tell you. But I don't work for a, a distillery. I work for myself. Uh, so I don't have to. They can send it to me. If I don't like it, I'm not going to say it to you. Just because they, they've given me a bottle for nothing. But do check this out. It's coming up to Christmas. You may have a whiskey drinker in the house and you think, oh, I'll buy him a bottle of whiskey. Absolutely. But don't necessarily just buy him one of the. I say him. Oops. Oops. I wanted that Jim Murray there again. No, don't be buying him or her uh, just an ordinary bottle of whiskey. Think about getting some of this, this kind of thing. Um, you can put it in these stocking fillers. It'll cost you the same as a bottle of whiskey, but you'll have five, six, seven different whiskies that they probably will never have tried. So when he or she gets up in the morning, Christmas morning, and they come down and they go, oh look, this here. We've never heard of that, never seen this, we've never tried that. So as everybody's getting drunk during the day on Christmas Day, because I mean, let's be honest, that's really what we do, they can do it with these. So, yeah. Quite, quite woody, um, yeah. 
I haven't really done any research on this, if I'm totally honest. Um, I just wanted to do this. I wanted to sort of talk about these little uh, bottles. So the Tipperary Distillery. It's it's quite grainy. Uh, as in, there's, there's wood grain. It's, it's quite oaky. Uh, the, the cask is... Cask there. There's a, there's a, there's sweetness there. There's a, like a, a barley sugar, a sort of candy cane barley sugar, which I'm not not a huge fan of, if I'm honest. But it's quite fresh. Uh, there's a, there's a certain lift to it. There's a malt malt there. Forty-seven percent. Um, yeah, a little bit, a little bit too harsh. So it's going to need a little touch of water on it. Probably not that much. Uh, probably a teaspoon, couple of teaspoons to take it down. Uh, yeah, it's it's actually got a really nice finish. Uh, again, it's coming through quite sweet, quite honey, but yeah. Lots of oil in it, so we'll put a couple of teaspoons in. We'll give it a little decant. Mm -hmm. Much fresher, much fresher. Citrus coming through. Limes. There's the, the, the fresh nuts, pine nuts. Not toasted pine nuts, just pine nuts. Yeah, very fresh, very fresh. Uh, this this is like a summer's whiskey, a hot day, possibly with an ice cube in this. I don't take ice cubes in whiskey, but I know why you would you would, and if it was a nice warm day, this would be. I see this as like a Wimbledon whiskey, you know, where if you're sitting, you could sit and have this watching that. Do you know what I mean? It's that kind of nice fresh summer's day. Yeah. Lovely, bringing it. It's it's really quite fresh on the nose now. There's a the wood that was there at forty seven is still there, but it's it's now taking a back seat. It's not just hitting. It's not just straight at you. Now, to be fair with these bottles, really you should be decanting them and leaving them a few minutes, probably 10, 15 minutes. Let them let them oxidize let them open up back out into the open again when you open a bottle of whiskey it's not the optimum time to taste it the best time to taste it is take one put it away then get it again and that gives it gives it a chance to sort of open up there's lots of people tell you it makes no difference because it's in a cask and a cask porous and so on and so forth but experiment yourselves guys get a get a bottle of uh, your regular, I don't know, Powers, Black Bush, whatever, pour one out and let it sit. Half an hour later, pour out another one and compare the two. Totally different, totally different. So there is, it does make a difference and there's no one will tell me any different. So this, I'll let it sit for a little bit. Um, again, haven't really done a huge amount of work behind this. To find out about the temporary distillery and that kind of thing. I know they've been going for a, a, a wee while now, a little while. Uh, I want to only talk a little bit more about the, the fact that you can buy these little bottles. Because I know I know we're into October now, guys. October, November, December. So it will not be long until you have to start thinking about the, the, the fat man in the red suit. And I'm not talking about Cam from Modern Families, which I only discovered there. Uh, I've started watching Modern Family and it's that's very funny. Very, 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 very funny. Yeah. Actually there's a little cinnamon note now has come into it. A little tiny little spicy cinnamon note, which which is quite pleasant, it's quite nice. Yeah, 
cinnamon note there. The, the, the malt, the grains come in there. Touch of vanilla. There's another spice there. It's very light, very subtle. It, it, it's, it's a little bit like, uh, like, like mace. There's a very slight touch of it. Again, very fresh, very finished. There's not a huge finish on it, if I'm honest. Uh, the, it, it's very fresh. It comes down, stops fairly quick in the finish. Yeah, little candy cane, and the, at the start of the, the front of the finish is quite sweet candy cane, uh, sort of bonbon bon sweetness, and then it sort of just dissipates, there's not a great finish on it. Um, if I was marking this, uh, I wouldn't give it a huge mark, um, say five and a half. Um, a little disappointing, but uh, yeah, a little disappointing really. Uh, but as I say, you have these little bottles, this little option. Um, yeah, it's it's unfortunate that's no, it's not better, but it uh, it's worth. Didn't cost me a lot of money. That's the point. If I'd have bought a full bottle of that, um, I would have had to wear it on the Exorcist uh, and give him a share. For anyone who doesn't know the Exorcist, my old neighbour across the road who comes over and makes all my spirits disappear, uh, he, he would come over, he'd stick a, a, a ginger ale or something in that and drink away. He's, he's, he's not that fussy. But um, yeah, so that would be... Uh, that we get an exorcist mark so yeah five and a half not bad uh in terms of what you would do with it uh, on a on a sunny day if somebody reached you that that'd be okay you would drink it no problem unfortunately we're heading into autumn it's dark now about half seven so yeah seven o'clock it's not really designed for that but that's another whiskey review my friends and uh please tune in on a saturday night 10 p.m facebook live uh YouTube, we live stream Justin and I for a little bit of crack, um, fun, talk about whiskey as well. Um, don't even know what the next show is going to be about, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Um, so stay safe, look after each other, and take care. Okay, bye bye.